hey y'all hey i'm back with another unbagging <laughs> uh from my trip to japan of some of the things that i purchased so what i've been doing is unbagging unboxing un revealing to you the things that i've purchased by shop i think that's the easiest way to do this because i have so much stuff so you've already seen some of the travelers notebooks that i purchased but they were from starbucks reserve um today i'm going to share with you actually two other places that i purchased travelers notebook supplies from so we went to the main travelers factory headquarters and then we also went to the tokyo station travelers notebook store and so um because the bag is so big, I can't put it on camera. But this is essentially what uh, my smaller bags look like. And then I got a larger brown bag that um, that has no print on it. But I really like this bag, which y'all know we kept everything from this trip. And so I was thinking about uh, maybe cutting out some of the words that are applicable to me uh, and making a page out of them in my traveler's notebook whenever I can start my journaling about Japan. Um, it has been a challenge since I've been back home because it's almost as if people don't even recognize that I just came back from a trip of a lifetime. <laughs> um, I've gotten so many requests from work, from friends, that I feel like I can't even get a, a, a break to actually sit down and do the journaling that, you know, I envision doing but i am going to steal away some time this month and do that because it's important to me regardless of what is important to others i know how important it is for me to take time out for myself especially for something like this and just reflect so what i'm going to do is i'm going to pull all the stuff out the bag that's off to the side and show you what i got from traveler's notebook Okay, so first, I want y'all to know that I did not only think about myself. <laughs> I um, actually picked up a brown standard traveler's notebook for my husband. He deserves this. Um, he bears the brunt of a lot of waiting for me to come out of my craft room. From doing these videos, from journaling, I do a lot of stuff in my craft room. And so... You know, I wanted him to have something nice, and he was really excited that uh, he gets to start his own traveler's notebook. And brown was the most masculine <laughs> color that I thought the store had. I wanted to get black. They didn't have it. And this was at Tokyo Station. Um, so, yeah, this is for my husband, so I'm not going to open this. I'm going to leave that for him to do. But I am going to go to the one that I did get for myself because y'all know I wasn't gonna leave myself out <laughs> so I got um the special edition um Tokyo Station Traveler's Factory notebook which I have not seen um this one actually yet because I I've seen it it was in the store but I have not opened mine yet so I'll open this um during this video so you can see it but I wanted y'all to see the difference between just the regular notebook and the uh, special edition one. And you might be wondering, like, why didn't you get Marta's a special edition one too? Well, one, he didn't go to Tokyo. <laughs> and then also, um, we were only allowed, every customer was only allowed to purchase one of these special editions. And so I waited for this trip to get this. And so I'm going to keep it. Um, but, <laughs> like, I don't have these two right here. <laughs> But I want to show y'all what it looks like. And if you remember, if you did not see my other un unbaggings, which I'm calling them because I only have bags, <laughs> um, please check them out because they, they will be similar to this one. I've already um, unbagged these two traveler's notebooks here along with this washi tape and some other um traveler's notebook supplies i'm going to stick that to the side you see see the orange jump band that came with this one and here is my special edition cover i'm so excited about it y'all there is a little i don't know what that is hmm it just looks like a circle <laughs> 
But on the other ones, it looked like a coffee bean. It could have been the same thing. I don't know. But look, y'all. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited about this. So, um, this is uh, gold, yellow gold um, metallic. It says, all aboard, get on Traveler's Train from Tokyo Station, Traveler's Factory Station. And then on the all, now on the inside, it has an insert. Oh, you can feel it. That um, also features that Tokyo train station. And these are blank cream pages. So I am excited about this. Oh my goodness, y'all. Because I got pictures from there. And that was just such a cool experience. And the fact that it has Tokyo on the front. And y'all know I'm getting another one, <laughs> another Tokyo standard. We'll talk about that when it comes. <laughs> but this is my first one. I'm saying first one. I don't know if I got another. Did I get another? No. So, y'all, the good news is the rest of what I got. So, I got, uh, apparently only got three, I think. And the rest is accessories or inserts. So, now I'm going to show you all of those. All right. So, um, first, I'm going to show you, oh, so I got some duplicates because I wanted my husband to have something that said Tokyo, so he is getting one of these. <laughs> um, see, I wasn't only thinking about me, <laughs> but, um, you know, I was thinking to myself, I was like, man, this ain't going to want anything that says Tokyo. My husband is so... He is just so, he's just like, just give me the plain one. I'll be fine. <laughs> but it's his train trip from Tokyo Station. Y'all, we, we went back to the station on our very last day there. Took some photos in front. I was so excited about it because we almost missed this. And um, my dear friend Paula, who hosted this trip, said, do y'all want to go out again on your last day? Or do you just want to rest until you get to the airport? And I was like, oh no, I want to see all the things. And so... We went out walking. She took us to the front of this train station. This picture does this station no justice. This building was long, regal, and absolutely beautiful, y'all. So um, you'll see more about that in the future when I start filling up this book. But I am going to stick that inside here. This is a duplicate of that one. And then, honestly, I just got some, um, some inserts. So this one is a free diary. And as you can see, it's got gridded lines. Actually, I'll open this one because I can't. That little picture is not doing it for me, y'all. Praise the Lord. I got glasses on right now. <laughs> and I'm still sitting up here squinting. So I'll just show you. All right. So plain paper on the outside. And then on the inside, you can see that there, it's like a list page. 31, 31 spots, I guess, for a month. And then you get, oh, okay, I see. So it's a 31-day diary. And it restarts in the middle. You get another 31 days. So basically two months to, you know, I guess journal each day or plan each day, whatever you decide to do. And then at the top, you can mark um, the week and the point. And that's it for this one. So this is called a free diary daily. For 31 days just in case anyone's interested in looking for that one and then this one is just lined on md white paper so it looks like this here on the inside and then i got a stamp note so this one's going in the new this one's going in the new um cover because it has tokyo on the outside this is one of the special ones and it's white paper i think white paper on the inside let me compare it to the cream yep it's white and just with the tokyo uh doodles on the front and it says stamp note and that's going to go in there okay more inserts well actually in this bag i do have some other things so let me pull that out uh, okay y'all so i got some brass clips 
<laughs> you saw I got brass clips in the, I think I got brass clips in the other unboxing. But these, I'm not going to open. They're number clips, 1 through 12. I think these are for like each month if you want to tab the top of your inserts or the side or whatever you choose. So that I got. And let me tell you something else, y'all. I was trying to spin up my yen. <laughs> I call it yens. I know it's yen. I'm going to say it right for the video because, you know, sometimes strangers be watching my video and trying to correct me in the comments. And I just be like, y'all, I did this for my friends. They knew what I meant. Praise the Lord. <laughs> but I wanted to say it right. So I tried to spin up my yen because, I, you know, I didn't want to convert it back once I got home. And so even when I went to the counter with what, what I wanted, I still had not spent up all my yen. So you'll see a lot of things in here that I probably really don't need because I went back in the store. This was our last full shopping day. I went back in the store and just threw stuff in my car. <laughs> I was like, y'all, I got to spend the rest of my money up. So I didn't even spend my budget, honestly. I ate everything I wanted. I got everything I wanted. And I still didn't spend my budget. So that should indicate to you how inexpensive the things were in Japan. So um, here are letterpress stickers. I probably should have got two of these. Because I think Martis would have liked this. But it says train trip from Tokyo Station. So this is another Tokyo Focus one. And this one just is Traveler's Train Focused. And they're both feely. Like you can feel them. <laughs> feely. Oh boy, somebody gonna get me all about that too, I'm sure. But um, they are stickers. I don't know how I would use this yet. Probably in the background of some journaling about the train station. But I also got some passport size inserts because as you know, I also purchased um, a passport from the reserve, which is here. Um, and that's unboxed in the video prior to this one. But this is a free diary weekly. Um, so it looks like this. It has all the days of the week and then an extra box. Um, and that's what all the pages look like in here. And then this one has Japanese on it. I'll be honest, that is the sole reason why I purchased this, <laughs> along with the trains. And I'm not sure what this looks like on the inside. I didn't even look at it in the store, y'all. So we're going to see together what this looks like. So this is uh, cream colored plain paper on the inside. But I'm in love with this... Uh, Japanese font on the outside just to remind me of my trip I'm just like all things Japan right now y'all so be patient with me okay I'm actually going to start stacking this stuff up in here so that I can make some space to show y'all <laughs> the rest of the stuff that I got okay let me do that okay this is to keep it out of the way I'm going to keep my notebook here because that's important okay y'all Another accessory I got is a molded leather pen case from Traveler's Factory. Um, I got it in the color camel. There were several colors of this. But I got camel because that's what I got my Starbucks Reserve um, covers in. Oh my gosh. Y'all know. Why am I excited about this? This ain't even it. <laughs> natural tanned leather wow i just like the japanese y'all know i'll put this in the background of my journaling i just love stuff like this these little little tags and receipts and stuff are really gonna get some use for me but let me show you what this looks like again i didn't need this y'all but i got it because i was trying to spin up my yen so it um is a collaboration with butler verner sales and so essentially you pull a little string from the back open it and it will hold your pins or whatever other accessories you want to put inside feels a, little, a bit rough but i think it's it's well according to this information it is leather it smells amazing mm, y'all let me get mm, it smells amazing <laughs> so i had to sniff it real quick before the smell is gone y'all know how it is we take stuff out of the box and so this will be I don't know what I'm going to put in here yet because I have plenty more things to show y'all that I got for storage. So um, I'm going to uh, put this to the side, show you the next thing. All right. I'm almost through with one bag, y'all, but we, <laughs> we had a whole nother bag to go. <laughs> so I just found 
one of my receipts from Traveler's Factory. I just wanted to show you what that looks like. And even with all that yen <coughs> that I spent, I think here, I think I must have given 20,000 yen and got 3,000 back. Still didn't spend up all my money there. But I got another washi tape. Let's see this one. Whew. Okay, I need scissors for this. All right. So you might remember I already got washi here. This is from Starbucks Reserve. And so here is the one from Tokyo Station. Oh, wow. Let me see, where'd I start? Wow. That's a lot. Look at all this. And it's all a focus on Japan. I cannot wait to use this. And because there's so much, hmm, <clears throat> I think I might share this with some of the ladies that went on the trip with me because this is some information about, like, we went to see the Sakura together, which is basically cherry blossoms. And it says cherry blossoms are called Sakura in Japan and loved by Japanese people as a symbol of spring. Like, that's something really cute to put in your journaling and i think they would appreciate having some of this but also i like that it's like a cream color so this will go well with some of the cream inserts i don't think i have space <laughs> i think i need a new tray <laughs> but for now i'm just gonna stick it inside my little box here y'all had to start a little box because i got a lot of stuff and i'm trying to keep it organized i'm also trying to officially unpack all this because I need to get happy mail out to my patrons and this stuff that i'm opening in front of y'all is not even my patron stuff yet so, <laughs> so but i had an order that i wanted to go in intentionally and so oh gosh here we go y'all so i got some additional jump bands i did not know that they would come in each uh in with each traveler's notebook but i do have some additional ones if i need them and then I got more inserts, a lot more standard than Passport. And so here is a watercolor paper one, plain on the inside, but just watercolor paper. Um, <clears throat> let, me make some, let me make some space for these as I show them to you. This one is just dot grid, standard size. So it just has dots on the inside. This is MD paper in white. And then my next one, MD Paper Cream. And it's just plain MD Paper, 64 pages. More jump bands, but these are for standard. So the ones I just showed you were for Passport. So I got both because I got both, I purchased both sizes from Starbucks Reserves. So <clears throat> here is a, another free diary. Um, this one looks a little different from the one I showed you before. So the other one was a daily. This is a weekly in memo. So kind of like a uh, Hobonichi Weeks. So it has uh, each day on the left in a small space. And then on the right hand side, it's like an open free page. And then here, <laughs> am I running out of space already? Here I have lightweight paper. So the paper is just a bit thinner than uh, some of the paper in the other inserts. And it's uh, plain blank, 128 pages. I think there's more pages in there because that paper is lighter in weight. <clears throat> this one is blank craft paper, 64 pages. This one is an accordion fold paper. I think you should see this. Um, I have a friend named Jackie who is a local planner in Baltimore. It's my home girl. Um, she had a passport size of this and shared it at our last planner meetup. <clears throat> but this is the standard size. So basically, it's an accordion that you open, you open out, and you, you know, right on the front, in the back of the pages, and then you fold it back in, and it's an insert for your, um, your traveler's notebook. 
so i actually had i think i got it in passport size too but we'll see when i get there <laughs> Here is a sticker release paper um, insert. So basically this is sticker paper. It's slick so that you can stick your own stickers on the pages and then have them available to pull off when you take your notebook out. This is a three fold file. So basically when, once you stick it inside your traveler's notebook, you get to open it up to all these uh, folders and pockets to use for additional things. And this is another watercolor paper. So I told you I got <laughs> I got some things in multiples. Oh Lord, look at God, a repair kit. <laughs> so I got the little what I thought was a coffee bean here, and some more jump bands and that string also. So spare band strings and the tin fastener. That's what that's called, a tin fastener. Oh, and it has instructions on the back for how to do all these things. So I'll stick that over there. Here is a uh what is this it's a grid notebook and it's only grid 64 pages and on md white paper here is a zipper case looks like that <clears throat> here is a craft yellow paper refill so all the paper inside is this color craft paper same for this, but green. Oh, turquoise. <coughs> I think in the store, I saw that this looked a bit turquoise, and that's why I wanted it. And then a Traveler's Tokyo. I actually don't know what this looks like. It might be plain, but we'll see. Let's see. Yeah, so this is MD cream paper. But I got it, y'all know, because it said Tokyo on the outside and had the Japanese characters. So that is the rest of <clears throat> the, I think the sander inserts in that one bag. Okay, so the, <laughs> oh gosh, <clears throat> the next set of inserts are for the passport, y'all. Look at this. See, this is why I'm not opening them all because this is a lot. <laughs> y'all should have seen me carrying that basket around. Um, okay, so the first one is 64 pages MD cream paper. This one's dot grid, similar to the ones I've already showed you in standard. I just got both sizes. Watercolor paper, sticker release paper. This is my second one in this size. Um, accordion fold paper. So this is the one my friend Jackie shared with us at our meetup. Turquoise craft. <clears throat> Free diary. So it looks just like this, just like the standard with the one extra box in each day of the week. Um, list it out and then this is the uh pink craft paper i don't think i got that in standard let me see Did I? Hmm. that's interesting I, I thought i got all the colors for both <clears throat> all right let me let me make sure i show you all the inserts first and this is a regular craft paper passport size 64 pages so all of these i got some similar ones from my standard for the passport as well <clears throat> so i'm uh i'm trying to find places to put this stuff y'all all right so here is a what is this Hucha. listen i don't even know what this is i thought it was a sticker when i purchased it but it's a little oh <laughs> it is a um <clears throat> hold on y'all pencil board for a passport size travelers and it has some asian writing on it y'all i'm not even gonna lie i got it because it said hall right there that's my last name <laughs> and it's a pencil board you can tell by the back of it i didn't know that when i purchased it y'all but i'm glad to know that now and then also for my passport size i got this little pocket thing uh it has a pocket here and a zip pouch here and I can stick that inside my passport. So I think that's it for inserts. Let me just double check. Okay, yeah, I think so. All right, now I got a couple more accessories and a bag and I'm done y'all. I know you like, oh my gosh, girl. Listen, trying to spin that yen up y'all. So here we go. <clears throat> I got 
This clip, which a lot of you might be familiar with if you're familiar with Traveler's Notebook, because this is a very popular clip. It says, have a nice trip with Traveler's Notebook on there, and it's gold. So I got that. And then I got another one, but this one says Japan. <clears throat> they look a little bit different, too. So this one has an airplane. This one doesn't. And this is in black, and this is just engraved. So, and then I also got a pen holder in camel so this is for the uh i don't know which one i'm going to use it for and then i got this brass tag which says fly to the world from japan travelers factory and it has mount fuji in an airplane that is so cute so this will probably be <clears throat> the brass tag i add to this or it'll be this one so this is no it'll be this one <laughs> this is tokyo station you can see up close it has the actual station on there and it says traveler's factory at the top and then i got that famous hand clip that is a page holder for you know holding your page open in your book all right Let's see. Oh, there's one more. Oh, I knew I had gotten another. <laughs> so I did get two of these. Um, because I wanted one for the for the standard and one for the passport size. Okay. Here we go. I got two little, I got a little bag and a big bag. Now I'm getting ready to show you. <clears throat> so Superior Labor. Many of you are familiar with this brand. Um they didn't have a lot of colors by the time I got in the store. We had to go in like uh, we had to line up outside the store and only about 10 people at a time could be inside shopping because the, the Traveler's Factory like headquarters store is not very big. Um, <clears throat> so because of that, we had to go in just a few people at a time. So by the time I got in there, this was the color available, which I'm not mad about at all because I love it. But um, this is a very long, thin pouch. And very popular too i know that a lot of people are familiar with this pouch and then the second thing i got which i'm really excited about is an actual um we call it it's a canvas bag but oh gosh crossbody that's what it is so i'm gonna open it and show y'all i hope i can get it all on camera because it's so big <clears throat> okay here we go Look at this, y'all. We'll start at the top. So here's a Traveler's Factory clip. And when you open that clip, you'll see that there's a deep inside to this bag because it is very big. There's also a leather strap. It's very long. This is in black. And there's also a zipper component to this. So when you think about it there's two sides to this bag so there's the open side that clips and then there's the zipper side um there are no small just checking off camera to make sure <clears throat> no small like little zipper parts on the inside but what i love about it is it's so big hold on i'm gonna show y'all and at some point you'll see me with it um strapped across my body so here we go here is the bag like this is almost the size of my desk i can't even get the whole thing on here but it's in a like a canvas black it smells yummy it smells like leather and i got this um <clears throat> because i like plain and basic bags but also because i got these cute little clips that i thought would be cute on the outside of the canvas bag so i might stick a few of those on there and carry my traveler's notebook stuff inside and so y'all that is all my traveler's factory stuff i am officially done um this is a lot because you can't even see let me see if i can put this together quickly and show y'all how much of this is on my desk so i organize it in this little toolbox that also sent my 
um, secret pal in my Patreon group for Christmas. I had also gotten one for myself. So, Jana, you will recognize this if you watch this video. But this is like a, a long toolbox. And it is already filled with inserts, my standard and passport. Maybe if I take the washi tape out, I have a little more space for these inserts. Okay, let's see. All right, y'all, look at all of this. So here's the front of the toolbox. Here is the back. That is a lot in there. That is what I have to use as I embark on this Traveler's Notebook journey. So I'm excited about it, y'all. I'm so glad that you joined me for this. Let me know in the comments what um, item I shared with you that maybe you're excited about getting for yourself. And uh, let me know what you think. And I'm excited to get started and share even this process with you on YouTube. So stay tuned, y'all. Thanks for joining me. Bye.